Okay. Yep. Really invest in the camera because this is not going to work forever. Okay. Hey guys. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a few survival tips to make it through your first week at home with a newborn baby. So um, maybe this is your first baby. You don't know what to expect. Maybe this is your first baby after having one a few years ago. But whatever the case may be, I hope that these methods will help you when you come home with your newborn baby. So let's get to it. First off, take any and all the freebies you can get from the hospital. Okay, like my hospital was pretty freaking legit. Like they provided diapers, they provided wipes for the baby, um, all the feminine, you know what, that I needed for myself after pushing this baby out. Um, like you're not gonna have the time or even worry about or want to go to the store to get some of this shit okay so you take an extra bag with you to the hospital and you use that specifically to stock up on all the stuff that you can um like they had like the sanitizing spray that i could use for myself to help keep myself um you know clean after having a baby and um like i just literally just stuck i think honestly two bags full of stuff in the hospital so I mean judge all you want but I didn't have to go to the store to buy anything I didn't have to buy diapers like forever for my daughter and I didn't have to buy any uh, like sanitary pads for me or any I mean, any of that stuff okay like take bibs take burp cloths like whatever you can stock up on like do it okay oh use a postpartum girdle nobody told me about a postpartum girdle okay like I wish I had one like your stomach went from like out here to like just this jello blob and I remember like it any movement would just hurt so bad and so yes use a girdle um, use it for the first six weeks you can put it on right after you know you have your your baby um, and it will definitely help you slim down too. It will help you tone up a little bit. You're gonna have to do some extra work, but that will help. Okay, sleep when your baby sleeps, okay? There, I know there's gonna be stuff that you're gonna wanna do around the house, you're gonna wanna clean, you're gonna do this and the other. No, you sleep when the baby sleeps, okay? Because he or she is gonna wake up every hour to two hours to eat. Um, whether you're breastfeeding, formula, whatever you decide to do, the baby's gonna be up to eat. So you take advantage of any time they are asleep and you sleep too. So if you are not single and you're married or you have a boyfriend or whatever, take turns feeding the baby in the nighttime. Like, you know, you can get some more sleep that way too. So if the baby wakes up at 10 o'clock, you feed the baby. If the baby wakes up at 12 o'clock, then your husband, your boyfriend can feed the baby. For your single people out there, or the people that are not single, uh, pump, okay, if you're breastfeeding. Um, so you can do like milk that you have pumped, or you can do skin to skin, and just go back and forth that way, and that's gonna help you out a lot. Use, if you're breastfeeding ladies, use a nipple shield, okay? Nobody told me about this. I didn't find out until after I had like long gone stop breastfeeding. Yeah, get that. Um, use cream, um, the ointment for your nipples because they're gonna crack and they are gonna bleed and they are gonna be all fucked up in all kinds of areas. Okay, like this is the stuff that people don't tell you. Everybody talks about how beautiful breastfeeding is and it's like the best thing in the world and it's like a bonding experience between you and your baby. Yeah, it's that, but it's also torture. So, yes, get the cream. And there's these ice pack things that I wish I would have known about ahead of time and I would totally taken them with me to the hospital if I would have had them, but they're like cold packs and they're, they look like round patches. You stick them in the fridge and then as soon as you're done breastfeeding or pumping, but primarily breastfeeding, the skin to skin, clean yourself off and put those suckers on there. And it's like the most amazing feeling ever. I, I can't even think of what to compare it to, but it feels freaking awesome. So 
feeding pillow. You need a freaking feeding pillow, okay? A boppy, you know, a small one, you put it right here. It makes feeding, whether you're breastfeeding or feeding with a bottle, so much easier, especially in the nighttime when you're fucking exhausted and you're just like so terrified to drop baby. Like, you can prop that pillow there, put your baby on it. I didn't have one of this. Okay, I don't, I don't want to get on my baby one, I don't want to get on my baby one. I, I don't want to get on my baby one. I have a big maternity one, but I didn't get on this one. Like, nobody even suggested it to me, but that thing would have been on my baby one. I never get one. Um, but anyway, so that's what they need one. You need one. Get one. You need it. Um, I remember this one time my baby was like, just, I guess she was in the middle of cluster feeding, or she was having cluster feedings, whatever you want to call this. Um, and she just cried and cried and cried and cried and cried. And I would feed her and it just wasn't enough. And I remember this one specific night, I was so tired. I thought I was gonna lose my mind. Um, she just wouldn't stop crying, nothing would help. And I literally just stripped down. I took everything off, took my shirt off, took my bra off. I was just like freaking naked. And I stripped her down. She was just into her diaper. And I placed her right here and did skin to skin. And that literally calmed her down. Like it took a, a minute. Don't get me wrong, but it was the only thing that worked. So if you ever are in that moment where your child is not being able to soothe themselves, you're not able to soothe them in any kind of way, feeding's not working, rocking's not working, singing's not working, nothing's working, I promise you, skin to skin will work. Use a sound machine. So if you don't have a sound machine, I'm gonna put a link down in the description below of the sound machine that I use. Um, I didn't start using it until like maybe a week after I brought my daughter home and literally like the second I tried it, she slept like a good four hours straight. I know that some of you are probably like, that's it? That's a lot considering the fact that she was waking up like every hour and a half to two hours to eat. Like the first time that she slept through like to four hours, it was with the sound machine and it works. So if you're having a baby that's having a hard time sleeping through the night, try the sound machine. She's a year old and she still uses it every night. Like literally if she doesn't have it on, she won't sleep. She'll wake up in the middle of the night. So it's definitely worth trying. There's um, this thing called an outlet sock. It, most of you guys may have heard of it. Again, I will put the link below. This video is not sponsored in any kind of way at all. This is just tips for you, things that I use personally. Nobody is like sponsoring me or I I'm not getting paid for this at all, by the way. Just putting it out there. Um, the outlet sock. It, if you haven't heard of it, what it is, it's a sock that has like a little monitor in it that you put it on the baby's foot. It's safe for them to use at night and it monitors their heartbeat and it monitors their breathing. So I think I got mine maybe two weeks after she was born because I was to that point where I was so sleep deprived. I was not getting any rest at all. Like the second I feel myself all asleep, I would literally wake up because I'm like, oh my God, is the baby okay? Is she okay? Is she breathing? I would be like checking on her, making sure I could hear her breathing, make sure I could see her breathing. Um, this was literally life changing for both me and my husband. Like the first night she had that sock on, I slept. Like I actually could feel the difference. I did sleep, probably yes, it does work. And there's an app you can use on your phone. You can like open up the app and you can check on your baby. You can check her breathing schedule or the way her breathing works at the time of day. There's like a schedule thing. It's, it's pretty cool. So I'd highly recommend it and check it out. Um, accept help from family and friends. Okay, um, I always was like super cautious about having people over. I was so paranoid about my daughter getting sick. I didn't, I like people coming around, but I didn't really want help. Um, I didn't want people taking care of her or watching her. I was super overprotective. Well, she was probably three months before I actually let her stay with someone for a few hours. Um, that was like the hardest thing ever, but definitely, take the help that anybody is willing to give you. Even if you need a break, that's something that I still struggle with, um, accept the help. Like, take turns with your spouse, you know, go take a shower, brush your teeth, do your makeup, have some time for you, okay? Go grocery shopping, go walking around, just take a breather, accept the help, okay? That's like one of the biggest things I could ever like, wish I would have done. With all that being said, 
I really hope that these tips will help you um, in the future when you go home and bring your beautiful baby at home alone. I know that I was like so scared whenever I came home from the hospital with my baby and I was by myself and I didn't have doctors around to like give me advice or help me or anything like that. I remember like my mom came home with me and she was just like, okay, well I'm gonna go ahead and go. I've been with you for like three days, <laughs> bye. <laughs> no, she like, she loved being with us. I know she did, but I was scared. Like I legit cried when my mom left. I was like, oh my God, like I feel like a little baby taking care of a baby, like I need my mom. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you're gonna be just fine I promise um, I hope all these tips will help you and I hope you enjoyed watching this video if you found this video helpful please let me know in the comments below give this video a thumbs up um, please share with all your friends um, anybody you may know that's gonna be having a baby and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet show me some love and by the way this video is dedicated to my best friend who is going to be having a baby this Thursday I'm so excited to be meeting him so yes just wanted to give a shout out to girl I love you you're the best and um, you're happy too congratulations guys I know that this is like so exciting this is so exciting for y'all and I'm so excited I know I'm gonna cry like a big baby by the way I'm probably gonna cry the first time I see him and hold him it's gonna be like the best so love you guys subscribe give me this video a thumbs up thanks for watching